let's now take example 5 the question is the length of the common chord of two circles of radii 30 cm and 40 cm whose centers are 50 cm apart is dash so we have to find out the length of the common chord right now this is a common chord for two circles of which the radii are 30 cm and 40 cm respectively right so one circle radius is 30 the other one is 40 and their centers are 50 cm apart the distance between the two centers of these circles is 50 cm apart so we have to find out the length of common chord now we have already discussed about this common chord concept right when two circles intersect let's say this is circle 1 and this is circle 2 right both need not be same right here again like it is given one is 30 centimeter radius other is 40 centimeter radius so obviously both are not equal in terms of radius right or in terms of size now what is the common chord this is the common chord these two circles intersect at two points and here is the common chord let's say uh, ab is the common chord a b is the common chord the center of the first circle is uh, let's say c c1 and the center of the second circle is c2 all right now what do we know the radius of these circles are 30 and 40 respectively right so uh, radius from let's say c1 to a this is 30 right this is 30 and c2 to a this is 40 yes or no from center to any point of the circumference radius so this is 30 from this center to any point of the circumference we are taking the same point a this is 40 and we have to find uh, we also wrote that the centers are 50 centimeter apart so c1 to c2 the distance between c1 and c2 is 50 right c1 to c2 this total distance is 50 all right now let's say this point here point of intersection is uh, uh, some some point there let's say this is x all right point of intersection is x now what do we have to find out the length of the common chord so we have to find out ab is equals to what right what is the length ab what we'll do here is first find out the length ax once we get ax you simply double that to get the complete length ab yes or no we have already learned that this common chord will be perpendicular to the line joining the two centers yes or no while discussing about the common chord we have seen that uh, a common chord for two circles is always perpendicular to the line joining the two circles so i can say this is 90 degrees and of course this also here is 90 degrees so we have actually two right angle triangles right a x c 2 is one right angle triangle a x c 1 is the other right angle triangle now see let us we, we know that the total distance here is 50 between the two centers the total distance is 50 let us assume c1 to x c1 to x this distance is d right c1 to x the distance is d so from uh, c2 to x what will be the distance 50 minus d yes or no because total is 50 if we take this as d this will be 50 minus d so d plus 50 minus d will give you 50 are you able to follow it it looks to be a little messy but then the same concept is very simple you take one part as d the other part is 50 minus d right given that the total length is 50 there now what do we do two right angle triangles right in both the right angle triangles ax is equal see from the first triangle i can say ax squared is equal to hypotenuse 30 squared minus uh, d square are you able to follow in this right angle triangle in which triangle is this axc1 right in axc1 ax square is equal to the hypotenuse square 30 square minus the distance the base d square in the other triangle what's the other triangle axc2 in axc2 in this triangle what do we get ax square is equal to the hypotenuse this time is 40 40 square minus the base how much is base 50 minus uh, d whole square now can you equate both this ax and ax here ax square and ax square yes so what do we get we'll get one equation in terms of d once you get the value of d you'll be able to find out ax what we need is AB. AB is nothing but 2 times AX. So that's the flow, uh, that's the process which you need to follow. Let's let's quickly solve. So we'll equate these two, right? From these two, I can say 30 squared minus D squared equals to 40 squared minus of 50 minus D whole square. Get the point? 30 square minus D square. Radius is 30. 30 square minus D square equals to 40 square minus of 50 minus D whole square. Now simplify this. So 30 square is like uh, 900 minus d square equals to 1600 minus uh, 50 minus the whole square so this is 2500 uh, minus d square minus 2ab becomes plus 2ab plus 100d all right 
So minus d square minus d square gets cancelled. 1600 minus 2500 is minus 900. Minus 900 goes to the other side becomes plus 900. So we can say 100 d. 100 d equals to 900 plus 900, 1800 or from which d is equal to 18. So I know what is d. Once you know what is d, just substitute it here. You will get ax. So ax square equals to 30 square minus 18 square. 30 square minus 18 square. So this is 900 minus uh, 18 square, right? 900 minus 18. What is 18 square? 324, right? So from that ax will be equal to uh, 900 minus 324. So this can be taken as 576. 576 is ax square is 576. So ax will be equal to 24. Are you able to follow? 900 minus 324, 576. ax square is 576, ax equals to 24. So this length is 24. Now if this is 24, the bottom half will also be 24. Why so? Because the same can be replicated here. You understand? So I can say that the length of the chord AB will be 24 plus 24, 48, which is option D here. Right? So the length of the chord is 24 plus 24, 48 centimeters. You understand? Chord length is nothing but AB, right? AB is equal to 2 times AX. That's the point we have used. So AX is 24, 2 times AX, 2 times 24 is 48. So option D is the correct answer, right? So that's about a question on common chord, right? Not very simple, but again, based on what we have learned so far, you can easily crack this. Let's look at the next example.